Hey there, Trekkers and Trekkies. So, today we're doing some more Mego. It's been a while since we've actually looked at Mumigos. Um, got a course in the box. We're going to be looking at a pair of Spocks. That wasn't actually planned to do that, but it works. Um, got Both of these are from the motion picture. Um, for a reason, we're going to end up, we're going to finish up this video with something kind of cool that, uh, I got a little while back. So let's start opening these up and take a look at them. All right. We're going to start with Colinar Spock. His black eye. In real quick, well, I guess we'll get to that. I'll probably forget once I get them open, but. There is something I noticed that's sort of a error, I suppose, in the costumes of sorts. Okay, we jumped cut because I was having a hard time with that. So, get him out of the plastic. Let's take a look. It looks like... He's on the standard Trek body with the boots attached. Yep. In fact, even the pants look like they are probably the typical <clears throat> Star Trek pants. Yeah, that's what it looks like. I am glad this is not the Vulcan saluting Spock. I'm curious we've got the turtleneck as a separate piece and these joints are a little bit tight but that's kind of to be expected it's been in the box for a while but yeah there we go there is Colinar Spock when he uh Decides to leave his training on Vulcan to go and join the Enterprise. Um, I like it. The, the sculpt, it's not its not quite the typically deformed uh, Mego face that you get. It's, it's definitely, you know, the slightly older Leonard Nimoy that you got in the movies. So I appreciate that. Um, now, obviously, the uniform version, it's the same head, the same Spock head on there, just a different, probably a different, it's a plain body with no uh, boots, because they've got these rubber boots on there, and out of curiosity, yep, look, we get, we get to see Spock's toes. Um... For those of you who were curious about that, you know, it's probably been eating at you for your entire life. Um, this is actually a pretty good rendering of the uh, uniform. Now, of course, Spock didn't wear this strange shade of blue. Um, I do like the fact that they got the proper phaser. Because, you know, uh, one of the lines... Um, I remember people were complaining about the fact that they were the later Star Trek timeline figures and they were coming with uh, the phasers from original series. And it's like, yeah, that would be pretty annoying. I, I don't care for that myself. Um, now, the thing that I noticed that's actually incorrect on these, in the movie, when Spock shows up, on the Enterprise, he's wearing that turtleneck, that box, that box collar neck shirt under his Colinar uniform. Uh, it's actually sort of a bluish purple, real dark color, so this gray isn't quite right. But the thing is that he then continues wearing that through the entire film under his uniform, and this is black. It looks almost like a black leather, black pleather type of thing under here. 
Um, I don't recall if that department color, because that was in the, in the movies, in the motion picture, they put the department color on the badge. It has a star on it, which is correct, because they had stopped using the other symbols for science and engineering and that kind of thing. Um, let me see if I can get his shirt straight. I'm going to take the belt off. Just technically, it's got the belt buckle. The, uh, what is it called? It was only ever named that in the books. The bio something or another. I don't remember now. But, um, I am probably going to be taking a really close look at the costume later on because I want to try and make my own uh, custom of Captain Kirk or Admiral Kirk in the same uniform so we'll get a chance to hopefully look at that in the future um, but what I have that's kind of unique and special if y'all remember a while back I got that box of the 3D printed items and I found something in there, and I think I kind of showed it a little bit, but I was like, oh, no, I'm going to wait. And that's because what I got was Mego Scale Helm and Captain's Chair, which let me flip back over to the other camera. And I'll hold these up. So you can actually see and the helm right here so that means that we can take our Spock here and actually put him in the chair So that would end up looking, let me see if we can set this up. Yeah, that's not too bad. Something like that. I've got it obviously on his side. Um, let me put the other chair. I always put the other Spock in the other chair. You can be like, oh, I'm actually Mirror Spock. And I've come to take over and kick ass because I'm all in black. Even though I shaved my goatee. I'm going to stick with that. So, you have to deal with it. Because that's how we do things. So, I hope... It wasn't a whole lot to, today. I realize that. But, uh, we got a chance to look at a couple of uh, new Mego... Well, they're not brand new anymore. Some new... They're new for me, Mego figures. Um, even though I've actually had them for almost a year... Uh, and, uh, a helm and chairs to go along with them, which is freaking awesome, and I love it. It'll make for a good display. So, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Go out and make something. videos and want to see more please like share subscribe and ring the bell icon if you want to support me you can find me on patreon or go over to zazzle for prints of my artwork t-shirts and other cool stuff if you're still here why do you want to jam out